Hey gorgeous, what is up? Welcome to my channel. My name is Holly Lenora. <laughs> Look at my sleeves. <sighs> okay, okay, hold on. So when I got this, it was actually really, really cute. It still is really, really cute. So like the sleeves scrunch and it's shoulderless. It's, it's like a pool dress or like a beach dress. But I didn't think that this, that the sleeves would be like, what's that one dinosaur? It's, it's like a mini dinosaur on Jurassic Park. And the guy who's walking like back to the car or something in the yellow jacket, he sees it and then like the back of this dinosaur's head, like, <laughs> do you see what I'm saying? <laughs> okay, so I may end up changing my dress. So before the end of this video, probably gonna go do that while I do that I would love it if you would subscribe and join my beauty YouTube family if you haven't already this video I took a little trip to the drugstore I picked up what was new or what I to me is new what I thought was new I'm not really sure it's kind of hard to keep up with drugstore new because there's there's lots of different brands and lots of it's just a lot to look at and I know I do pretty well with the high-end stuff but I I, it's hard it's hard for me to keep up with drugstore, but don't worry. I'm gonna get better at it. Okay, so I'm gonna change this top I'll be right back <laughs> Okay, I'm back and this <laughs> is better for sure So let's see what is new from the drugstore This is a little drugstore haul if you will but I didn't just go to one specific store because I was looking for certain things and I swear I went like all over town and one store would have one thing but not the other and then the other store would have that thing but not this thing I mean it was a hot mess I'm pretty exhausted but I got it all so the first thing I'm gonna show you and I think it's the thing that I'm most excited about is from wet n wild and it is their new tinted hydrator I am super stoked about this I love a good skin tint if you've been watching me you already know this and the fact that it is a tinted hydrator at a really inexpensive price. This is $4.98 at Walmart and I believe it is $5.99 from Wet n Wild if you order online and from Ulta. But this has hyaluronic acid in it. It has a vegan squalene in it. Mine is in the shade light, no, medium tan. And I am super, super stoked to try this. It's, it's supposed to leave a glowy, glowy finish semi-matte as well. I think it would be really, really great for the summer if you put an SPF underneath. I'm really, really hoping this will be one of my summer go-tos, but you know I will do a wear test, so stay tuned for that. This next product I didn't have on my list, but I was really intrigued. It was right in front of my face. It felt like it was meant to be. I haven't gotten my hands on Fenty Beauty's new, what is it, um, Bright Eye Fix Concealer slash Corrector Something like that. I was really, really intrigued by it, but my Sephora doesn't have it yet. But while in Ulta, I saw this from e.l.f. And it is a flawless brightening concealer. So I was like, um, a dupe? Huh? Maybe? So that's exactly what I thought. I was like, oh, color correcting, concealer type. I see what you're doing, eyes, lips, face. Okay, I see it. So I really, I snagged these and they were $5 each. Not a bad price at all. $5 Tuesday. Let's open one of these up and see how it applies. I did get light, light shades to correct and to brighten as it says. So I didn't want to get really close to my skin tone. I really wanted to see it brighten and see how it works with my skin. I did get a peachy color. This is light 23 with cool peach undertones. And then I got a fair color. Fair 15 with warm golden undertones. So with it blending out with my foundation and with bronzer and everything, I feel like these two will work, but we will certainly test these out in a video as well. Okay, so it's got a clicker, if you will, on the top and yep, it's got a brush there on the bottom. Let's give her a couple clicks. Not yet. Oh, 
Whoa! There it goes, there it goes, okay. So this goes on pretty thick. So if we're looking at a full coverage color corrector, which most color correctors are, they're not full coverage, but they do go on thick to blend in with that skin. You know, it's certainly not a skin tint. It goes on thick and smooth. It feels creamy, not, not loose liquid, if I'm making any sense. Oh, look at that blend. Oh, we're about to have fun with these. Okay, yeah, so I can definitely see, A, it has blended really, really well just by using my finger. So, hey, you can use your fingers with this and just learn that. Wow. So, that tone will work well for me. Okay, okay, we're doing good. Next up, I got the NYX Lingerie Extra Extra Large Liquid Lip Stick. This one is in the shade Expose Me. It looks like this, and it is a very large tube. Let's see... If I have like a standard, well, this is from the Sephora, <laughs> whoa, this is from the Sephora collection, but you can see just how big this one is. This is $9, which for the size, I mean, this is huge. And they had a lot of different colors. I picked this up at Ulta in the drugstore section, of course. Let's see. Okay, pigment. Oh, that is a beautiful color. Oh, that is gorgeous. It's kind of like a mauve warmer undertones, but still kind of has like a nude-ish aspect to it, nude undertones in there. That's beautiful. Ooh, I can't wait to play with that. And it is definitely drying down matte, which is what we want. We want matte. Next product, I had to try this because I am so in love with the Lily Lashes Power Liner. If you've been watching me, you know how much I talk about that stuff. I use it all the time, it, I swear by it. It really, really works, it helps so much. So I saw this, this is from Kish. No, Kish, I don't know what Kish is. This is from Kiss. And it is their lash glue and liner, just like the Lily Lashes one, but slash that price in half. This is only $10. They have the black one, and then I also saw that they had a clear one. So I wanted to try this one first, and if this goes well, I'll give the clear one a try. I love the whole concept of having an eyeliner as your adhesive as well. I think that is such a good idea. And let's say you do use your typical lash glue. If you maybe miss an inner corner or the outer corner won't stick, you can just take, let me get my, this one's the Lily Lashes one, I already had it open. You can just take the tip, you see how fine that tip is and how precise it is, and you can literally pop it right down where your lash isn't sticking, isn't holding, and then press it right on. Like you don't have to take your whole lash off reapply the glue you can just pop it in and mark whatever's not sticking and i'm telling you works like a charm every time so i'm really hoping that this does just as well i'm super excited to try this from kiss this is drugstore ten dollars this is another product that i thought would be really really fabulous to go ahead and try before summertime put it in my summer beauty bag this is from nyx makeup as well it is the bear with me sunscreen daily moisturizing primer this bad boy has an spf of 30 in it and it's a moisturizer and it's a primer so there's your base right there unless you you know you want to add color correcting or whatever but this is a three in one i mean this is your base before you put on your skin tint or you go to the pool or you put on a full face this is what the packaging looks like i have not tried this before like i said i just went and picked up a bunch of new stuff i don't have any repurchases in this haul but this with an spf of 30 it's great for that daily wear make sure you are protected make sure you are covered from that sun, I know it's beautiful and I know it's great to lay out all day, but please be protected. It smells kind of like sunscreen, but not, you know that good old sunscreen smell? It doesn't exactly smell like that. It does have, it is white. Let's see if it leaves some kind of overcast. 
Wow. Okay, now I smell that sunscreen smell. I love that sunscreen smell. But it does smell like a sunscreen and a moisturizer, like a, a basic, typical lotion that you would get, like a Vaseline lotion or whatever. It smells like that combined. And it dries down quickly. Goes right into the skin. Or my hand was just really dry. One or the other. Ooh, I'm excited about that. Bear With Me sunscreen from NYX. Um, it was $17. So that is, I mean, that's sunscreen. I know, I, I think that's about right for, the, for a price of a full bottle of the good sunscreen. Next, I don't think this is super new, but I was really intrigued when I saw it. I saw it being used on YouTube and then I saw it in store and I was like, mm, why not? Because it seems like every single brand is coming out with their own cloud blush paint poofy pink from a tube blush so i was like well i don't know i want to be pink and poofy okay so this is from maybelline this is their cheek heat sheer gel cream blush cream is becoming the new powder <laughs> everything 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 is turning cream and I'm not hating it, I'm really not. I have adjusted my beauty blender to just flip and turn and be a one man show and work with all the cream products. And I'm telling you, it has cut that routine in half. So I am excited about this. This is in the shade Coral Ember. Um, let's open her up. I think the packaging is really cute. It's reminding me of, a, of another brand, but I, I can't figure out what brand that is. So it is a little bottle, but I don't think you need very much blush the packaging's cute i think i'm getting maybe like summer friday vibes from this top right here um this will cost you 7.99 at ulta oh there's something this will take a while if if you know me yeah you know, this is going to take a hot second go get you some popcorn or something Okay, so I got it open and now it is bubbling over. Well, not bubbling, but you know what I mean. Okay, so I'll just take this. It's gonna be a lot. I know that's way too much, but since it's already out. Okay, so it has a very mousse, fluffy-like texture. You see, it's not going anywhere. Uh, I do not like when bottles do that. That is such, I mean, you're just wasting product. I've got to put the lid back on there and it just, like, I cannot stand that. Now you got to race to put the lid back on there because it was coming out again. I, I don't like that. Whatever. Okay, so it's very lightweight. It is gel-like, but also creamy. Hmm. I like that color. That's nice, pinky, poppy, corally, summery. So you've got a little shine in that. Definitely, yeah, definitely see the corally. That is very nice for like a, a summer night, day in the sun, you know, with your, your NYX sunscreen underneath, of course. Yes, and it is very gel-like, yeah. This feels really beauty blender friendly. Or the beauty blender will just take it right off. Okay, so we'll have to play around with that. I'm not sure what really happened there. Um, next product, oh, I don't think this is new, but I'm not 100% sure. This is from Maybelline as well. This is their uh, Tattoo Studio Smoky Eye Pencil, right? Smoky Gel Pencil Liner. I got the shade brown. I'm really, really liking the brown liner look. I don't know if you guys can tell, but this is brown. But what I have on my eyes right now is from Urban Decay. It is their uh, eyeshadow stick in the shade Roach. Uh, that is quite pricey. So I wanted to see what a brown, less expensive product would look like. So yeah, that was the tattoo liner. I really don't believe that's new, but I did want to show you. Next up, we have a bronzer. This is from L'Oreal. This is um, True Match Lumi Bronze It. This one is in the shade... Where is it? Medium 02. This bronzer, first thing I noticed when I was in the store is it does have 
shimmer and shine in there. I don't know if you guys can see the shimmer and shine, but it is definitely there. Okay, it's very soft. Shimmer and shine for sure. It's beautiful. I don't know if you guys can see that on my hand. I don't, it kind of looks like it's got maybe an orange undertone in there. I'm not sure how that will look. I think it'll be fine. Well, we're gonna have a plain with new makeup video, so if it's not fine, we will find out then, okay? This is, I believe, $12. I found this, I purchased it at Ulta, but I also saw it when I went into Walmart. And yeah, I think it's like 11 and some change, or 12 and some change, something like that along those lines. This is another bronzer that I purchased. I actually got two things from Revlon, and it's the same line from Revlon, Skin Lights. This is their Prismatic Bronzer and their Prismatic Highlighter. So I was really intrigued just from looking at these. They look beautiful. This highlighter, ooh, girl, ah, we might be blind. If I could ever open it, come on. Are you kidding me? Oh, there it goes. Oh, so close. Dag nab it. Maybe. Whew. I got it. By the time I've opened it, you'll have found someone else's channel to watch. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Okay, so this is the packaging. Clear top. This is the highlighter up close. That is beautiful. Look at the pattern. Like that looks super high end. I am so excited to try this. Oh wow, that's beautiful. Oh my goodness, that is gorgeous. Oh, I already have highlighter on or I would try it. That is beautiful. Look at that. Okay, that is stunning. I cannot wait to get that on my face. Wow. Ooh. Okay, now well, at least let me try to get this uh, bronzer open. Okay, so I got the Revlon bronzer open and it looks beautiful as well. Look at the patterns that they put in this and the highlighter too. I mean, that is just gorgeous the attention to detail these look high-end i am just impressed just by looking at them feels really soft yet creamy not like it's going to be chalky oh it goes on like a cream oh you have no idea how excited this makes me i like how this one feels better than the L'Oreal bronzer uh, but that doesn't mean that I'm gonna like it better when applying it on the face but that's just a first impression I'm really really excited to try these I think these were let me check okay so the highlighter from Walmart is nine dollars well eight ninety seven plus tax and then the bronzer is also eight ninety seven plus tax so that's a really good deal from for what seems to look like as a first impression a beautiful high-end dupe that looks beautiful I'm so excited to try those next um, we only have two products left and I don't think this is new at all but I walked past it one time saw the color and then I was like ah, oh, I've got so many nudes and then I walked past it again I caught my eye again so I purchased it this is the super stay matte ink this one is in the shade loyalist and it is just that beautiful peachy color. And y'all know I love to ombre the lips, put it right smack dab in the center. Jeez, it's hard to pull out. Doe foot applicator. Oh yeah, so that's just a, that beautiful, kind of corally, pinky nude color. I love colors like that. Oh, that's a beautiful pink. Yep, I know me. I knew I would like this color, so I'm glad I purchased it, though I 
still I don't believe this is new. Um, and the last thing that I purchased is also from Wet n Wild. This is from their Photo Focus line and this is their Banana Loose Setting Powder. I like this because it was $5 and it's huge. This is absolutely ginormous. Wet n Wild has been killing it lately. I don't believe or know if this is new either, but a really good everyday setting powder is beautiful, especially during the summertime when you've really got to set in your makeup because of the sweat, the heat, the humidity, blah, 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 you already know. But I wanted something that I could use every single day and it not be super expensive. And if I love it, you know, it won't be so hard to repurchase it because it's only $5 and it's ginormous. So let me... Open this bad boy and we'll see what we're working with. I have not tried this before. I don't think I've tried any setting powder from Wet n Wild, so I hope I like it. If you've tried it, let me know down below what you think. Yes, I love that good banana color because you have to be really careful with translucent powders. Though they say they're translucent, some of them leave that white cast or they have flashback where you can really see it in photos and that's just flat out embarrassing. I don't care who you are, that just never looks good. Oh, this is so finely milled. Like it's, it's almost like air. Like the finest of finest flowers. Oh, that I feel like is going to be beautiful. Woo. Y'all get ready for a playing with new makeup video. Um, clearly it's coming soon and it's all drugstore. Ooh, trying to do you right. Trying to show you some good drugstore products. Get us ready for summer. Wear your sunscreen and look fly doing it. Okay? Okay. That is all that I got from the drugstore on this trip. Thank you so much for watching. If there's any particular thing you're curious about, let me know in the comments below and I will try to really emphasize it on the playing with new makeup video. If you haven't already, I would love it if you would subscribe and join my beauty YouTube family. We are all things positive and happy here. And I will see you on the next video. Bye.